landlords, it's Robin from Mashroom here. We all know that the price in rent is going up, but by how much? And what's the difference in rents across the country? Don't worry, Mashroom are here to simplify it for you, so keep watching to find out more. So let's take a look at some of the key rental prices in the UK. The UK has an average rent of £1,143, with the Greater London average rent at £1,898. The average rent in the UK has increased from 8.5% from August 2021 to August 2022, and the average rent in Greater London has increased 10.8%, and that's from August 2021 to August 2022. One bedroom properties now average at £700 per month in the UK. So what's caused these prices to increase? Well, rent across the country is on the up and up, and it won't come as any surprise to see that rent in and around London is amongst the highest in the country. However, rents across the rest of the country are much lower than in the capital, bringing the overall UK average rent price down. Overall rental prices in the UK are continuing to grow steadily, with an overall increase of 14.7% since 2015. The highest average rent is to be found in London at £1,898, and the lowest rents, less than half the cost, are to be found in Wales, Humber and Yorkshire at £778. Overall, the average rent sits at £1,143. If you remove the London rents, the UK average rent is £961, so you can see the impact that rents in the capital have. Take a look at the average rental prices around the country for 2022. Feel free to screenshot. Rents are changing at a rapid pace since the easing of all the pandemic restrictions, and not even the cost of living crisis seems to be bringing them down. Outside London, average rents have increased by 7.7% in the last year, reaching a new high of £961. London rents are also growing, with a record £2,257 recently reached. Since January 2022, there has been an 8% increase of the number of listings coming onto the market. Rental stock is still down 26% on last year's levels, and demand is up 6%, meaning we can expect to see plenty of competition between tenants for rental properties. These rental increases are being caused by a shortage of available rental properties. Over the past two years, there's been a large surge in demand, with a lot of people on the move, but not enough available rental properties. The increase in London rental prices between August 2021 and August 2022 is reflective of the aftermath of the pandemic. People left London in their thousands during the various lockdowns to move to a cheaper area or back with family to save on those high rents. However, as we returned back to normal in mid to late 2021, there was a surge back to the cities which saw huge competition between tenants, driving rental prices sky high. Rents are highly dependent on the location and number of bedrooms, with Hillingdon and Sutton boasting some of the lowest rents in London. Many people moving to London are looking for studios because they're some of the cheapest places to rent due to their small size. Despite that, the prices are still eye-watering. However, if you choose to live somewhere a little further from the centre of town, you can find somewhere that's much more in your budget. Post-pandemic, renters are looking for more than just one bedroom property so that they have space to work from home. And those who do want more space for work, or those who have families, will find themselves having to dig deep to pay for the space in the more popular areas of the capital. Here are the highest average monthly rental costs of two bedroom properties in London. There are cheaper places to rent in London, slightly further from the centre of town, but due to the new introduction of the Elizabeth Line, commuting has never been easier and this could save you thousands. If you're looking for space for all of your family and maybe even a guest room, then you're looking at very high prices. These rents price out the average renter who would be entirely unable to afford these areas on a UK average wage. If you do want a larger home and need to be in the capital, there are still options. It's just a case of giving up the higher end areas of London for somewhere slightly further out and more up and coming than established. The annual rental growth for Scotland continues to surpass England and Wales. And the country has seen faster growth than in the previous year, with 14.2% increase in average rental prices to £862 per month from September 2021 to September 2022. The market's low supply and high demand saw the highest increase of 15.3% from Dundee. Edinburgh was hot on Dundee's heels though, with 15.1%, and Glasgow wasn't far behind at 13% increase. While Aberdeen's increase of 4.4% may seem modest, it appears to herald a turnaround after a period of rent falls and stagnation. 
Private rental prices grew by 2.5% in Wales in the last 12 months to August 2022. This is up from an increase of 2.1% in July and is the highest annual growth rate in at least a decade. The Office for National Statistics say the annual growth rate for Northern Ireland in August 2022 was higher than other countries of the UK. Northern Ireland data have been copied forward since June 2022. The next update to Northern Ireland data will be in our index of private housing rental prices, UK Bulletin, published on the 14th of December 2022. As of August 2022, the Northern Ireland average rent is £795. And while the 2022 data for specific areas of Northern Ireland aren't available yet, the 2021 data breaks down like this. The big question is, are UK rental prices affordable? There continues to be a high tenant demand across the UK, but a lack of homes to meet that demand. While more rental properties are finally coming onto the market, the post-pandemic squeeze on supply is continuing to drive up rental prices. An ever-increasing number of tenants are looking to move, and rental prices will keep increasing until supply finally catches up with demand. There is some help at hand. Initiatives like the Deposit Replacement Scheme can help make life easier for a new tenant by eliminating the need to find a whole extra month's rent to pay a deposit up front and landlords can avail themselves of rent guarantee insurance to help stay protected in these uncertain economic times. Want to know more? Check out the links below to read more or to book a call with one of our experts. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more informative content and we'll see you next time.